We're back. We're ready for a, uh, a light heavyweight matchup between Mohamed Eskia and Sean Jones. Eskia in the silver trunks with the uh, red, black, and white stripe. Sean Jones in the red trunks. We're underway. Eskia uh, sticking in the left jab right off the bat, Polly. These two fighters, heavyweights. Well, heavyweights, yes, you got to keep your eye on this one because anything can happen at any moment with these heavyweights like this. Really, oh, there it is. There's a beautiful right hand right there. There's a beautiful right hand here. Uh, Shia. Jones in the red trunks. Oh, Askia is rocked by Jones as he goes to town early. Oh, my. Jones having all of the going here, Polly. Yep, uh, Jones lands a very serious punch. What heavyweights is this? You can't tell what's going to happen at any moment with these heavyweights. Oh, oh. This is a great, great, great heavyweight fight here. First round of opening up uh, some serious, serious punches being thrown here. They're really going at one another. If they're in a knockdown in a few, few, few minutes, it's gonna, they're going to slow down the second round, that's for sure. I tell you, Paulie, if there's a knockdown, there's going to be a crater after that knockdown. Yeah, they're really letting them go right off the bat here. Well, I was telling our cameraman, Peter McGowan, when I was up on the apron, this is a live ring. Now, every ring is different, whether it's the tightness of the ropes, the way the canvas bounces and buckles. Tell us about that. Well, uh, the ring is going to be uh, 24 f feet inside the, the, the ring, and some are even bigger than that. So uh, you have a right, to, uh, especially championship fights, whether you want a, a 24, 28-foot ring. And then you've got to have the outside apron which is another two and a half feet in case a fighter falls out, it doesn't hit the floor, land on that apron. That's what we have right here, because it's uh, well padded so as well. If they fall to the ropes, more padded at the edge, so their heads don't hit the corner of the, uh, the floor. That's why you see that extra padding there. In the ring, it's more tight and more solid, but rubbery, you know. Hmm. Nick Previty, the referee. Sean Paul Jones in the red trunk. Mohamed Askia in the silver trunks. Around one of this heavyweight matchup, this is the seventh of nine bouts. Celebrity boxing on ABT. The pros, folks. Jones backpedals to the neutral corner. Eskia trying to stick that left jab. Leaves himself wide open as Jones rocked him with the left hand, Polly. That was a good solid punch. They're slowing down a little bit now. Now they're looking to study one another to get, to get some good shots. Good body punches in there right by Jones. You can tell that Jones is the more experienced of the two. It seems Eskia, when he throws a punch, turns away. Yeah, but he's, he's backing up as he throws it. He's sort of like a counter puncher. He's not moving in uh, that well, uh, but he's a uh, little afraid of his opponent right now. They came out slugfisting like that, and the, those uh, wild punches did sting a little bit. Now they're trying to figure their opponent out. And it's very hard to do in a few seconds you got up there, and, and, and it takes a few, one or two rounds to, uh, to get your opponent slowed down enough so you can get some combinations off. But these guys are still winging away. And, uh, and they're slowing down just a little bit. Now you'll see in the second round, I think you'll see him a little slower and looking for some real good solid shots. So. That is the end of the first round. Mohamed Askia in the blue corner in silver trunks versus Sean Jones in the red trunks. I'd give that one to Jones. I'd like to thank the Mass Boxing Commission for helping us out here tonight. We're at the Lowell Sheraton Inn in the main ballroom. I'd say there's probably about 400 people here, Paul. Good take. Yeah, all of that. A good, good, good. Four hundred people here. Yeah, it, uh, I uh, know that Johnny wish it was a lot more. It should have been a good packed house, especially for the good fights that they're having here. Of course, the weather has a lot to do with it, but Lowell is a good, good fight town. I expect to see a lot more people here. You're saying it was the birthplace of amateur boxing. That, that's not a bad moniker to have for your town. Well, that's the truth. It is. It is the birthplace of amateur boxing. The Lowell Suns, which is right across the street from here, where they hold the Golden Gloves, and from there they go all over the world. It all depends on how the guy wants to go, you know. And it all starts here. And you know, that's where it all started. Amateur boxing did start in Lowell Mass. <laughs> and it's the pro, Sean Jones, who won the first fight with a, a succession of left hands on Askia, but Askia counter punches his way out and comes back. Now Askia is rocked. Oh, Askia oh, got stunned there by the left hand by Jones. Yep, the wild punch is thrown again, and uh, some heavy blows landed, and uh, Jones seems to be the heavier the bangers and showing more effect with his punches on his opponent. Sean Jones in the red trunks, Mohamed Eskia in the silver trunks. Eskia tries to snap off that left jab and misses. Now Eskia being backed up as Jones ties him up. Finally, Nicky Previty, a fine guy, just 
breaks him up. He's just a gentleman and a great referee, Nick Prevetti. Definitely is. I mean, it was a great, great, great fighter, too. And uh, he's a lover of boxing, and, uh, and that's what gives a credit to boxing. We need referees like him who were great fighters, not only that, but love the sport. And the uh, guys like him being referee and watching fighters, making sure they're not getting hurt, and helping to promote boxing, which is good for the promoters, so they can build fighters to become the heights that they want to be. Absolutely. He's Bill Conley's right hand man for the NEABF, instead of the officials. Now Jones being backed up and almost is knocked over by Askia. This is round two of this heavyweight battle. The seventh bout on our docket. Jones tried to duck underneath and Askia misses with a right hook. Jones is uh, not a bad fighter here. He's taking some heavy, uh, heavier the leather here. But you know, he's a very game fighter. You know, most of these fighters tonight were all good game fighters. Uh, really uh, put their hearts in it tonight. And uh, we saw some real game fighters. The losers were really great losers. Believe me, they really fought hard. They, they gave it all, their all. And that, that's what makes a great fight. Round two. Here we have some technical difficulties. <laughs> Our cameraman got knocked out, Polly. No. <laughs> John Jones in the ski, and now a ski on the run. He had to turn around and avoid that hit. That's one thing you don't want to do is, is show your opponent your back. So when you see an opponent turn his head from his opponent and turn his back, you know that he's in trouble. And we saw that a couple of times tonight. They, uh, they're, they're worried. They don't know where they are. They're hurt. And then they turn their back and look out into the audience. Then you know there's some damage done with those punches. So that is the end of the second round. Mohamed Askia coming back valiantly. Polly's giving it to Askia, but Askia lost the first round. They gave it to Jones. This is the second round. Again, they will announce the winner. So once again, Jones up 2-0 in, in this fight here, Polly. Askia, though, who is, his left nostril is bloodied. Uh, he came back in the closing moments of that round. Yeah, the skier was trying to find himself. He hit some wild, wild punches in the beginning, but he did come back with some good punches near the end of this last round. And I think you're going to see a skier do a little more uh, in the next round and may show himself a little better. I don't know, uh, but it looks that way. He's a game kid, and anything can happen with these heavyweights, especially when you're a game fighter, you're dangerous.